Welcome to last week's news today and another week of Ash's development. Last reminder for the live stream this month, it will be on January 31st at 11 a.m. Pacific time. It's going to be about Caravan PvP. The deadline for submitting questions has passed, so if you want to ask questions, you might want to wait for the next live stream. Remember, if your question isn't answered live by Steven on the stream, Vecnar always replies to questions in a post. So if you asked one, remember to check the thread afterwards. As everyone is anticipating the Alpha 2 launch this year, some conversation about PC specs has been circulating within the community. A comment from John Wainick, one of the developers from Intrepid, said, Of course Ashes isn't sponsored by anyone, but their dev machines run 3070s and older 2070s. At ultra settings on DirectX 12 with 11 support. They're not using any RTX or NVIDIA specific features, so if you've got an AMD equivalent of the 2070, you should be good to go for higher settings. And Vagnar also clarified this week that the minimum specification requirements will be updated as we get closer to Alpha 2 in Quarter 3. As soon as they are updated, we'll be sure to let you know, so don't forget to subscribe. Vagnar also confirmed that Intrepid still aims to have the character creator available before Alpha 2 releases. Pretty exciting, we can't wait to see how much it has changed. It's been about two years since we last saw the character creator. Next up are the tweets for anyone who's interested, the most fascinating one being Tuesday as it gives us the Gem Spring, which is a remnant of one of the Harbingers that broke off and has begun interacting with Essence in this particular area of the Riverlands. Now the Harbingers were comet-like celestial bodies that the Ancients and others used to travel to Vera, which began the Apocalypse. These comets are also what brought the corruption to Vera. It's pretty fascinating stuff that I hope we get to delve into as we explore the world, and hopefully find some of these Harbingers intact or at least in some kind of dungeon form with corruption running rampant around it. A couple other tweets showed off two of the ranger abilities, Scattershot, a ranged AoE attack, and the pretty sweet looking and sounding snipe ability. Then there's a goofy tweet about Steven murdering his two employees on the ranger archetype video. And of course we have the wonderful fan art Friday, where Undead Pally drew Chibi Bree as a cleric rogue. Well done as always, what an awesome drawing. And that's it, I'll see y'all next week.